So, it's Tuesday, December 18th. Yeah, it's exactly a week till Christmas. What? Sarah's making a video on Tuesday? OMGs, it's not Friday. Yeah, um, I'm super busy. <laughs> Tomorrow night I ever play A Christmas Carol, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Um, then Thursday I'm hanging out with college friends. Friday I'm going to Portland. So, I'm shooting this tonight, editing it tomorrow before my play. And I'll actually have it up before Friday for once. So, that'll be super exciting. Okay, I'm really sorry about the terrible lighting, but I really wanted to shoot this in front of my Christmas tree. And, but that wouldn't be enough, because here, let me turn off this light. So this is what it would be like with no light. And so then this kind of, but it's a fluorescent light that I'm using as my extra light, because there's no lights over here besides the Christmas tree, obviously. So, that's why the lighting is so weird. So. Um, like I said, today's the 18th. It's the last time I will be opening my advent calendar for you guys. Um, because obviously the 24th is between now and my next video. So the 18th, what did I get? 18. Oh, it's a little puppy doggy in the fire hydrant. See? Yay! Okay. It's my last video before Christmas. Christmas is my favorite part of time of the year, and I think even if I weren't a little bit religious, because I'm not, you know, like super fanatic religious or anything, but even if I weren't religious at all, it would still be my favorite time of the year. Christmas is a really special time because it's about being with your family and your friends and having a good time and being incredibly generous and laughter and all the things that make life worth living seem to happen at Christmas time for me. I wish that we could keep Christmas all the year round like Scrooge learns to do. I wish our society could do that. In my ideal society, we would. But we don't. And so Christmas is an incredibly special time of the year because we do, we are generous and we are kind and we are loving and we try to not be as selfish as we are the rest of the year. And I think that's really important. I think that Christmas is also a time of hope. Um, with these shootings in Connecticut, it's a terrible, terrible, like, it's a terrible thing to happen. It's worst time of the year it could happen, I think. I mean, Christmas is all about the children, all about loving and family, and then not to have that anymore would be so difficult. But the families of the victims need hope. And Christmas is the most hopeful time of the year. It really is, I think. For me it is. I don't know about other people. It's also the saddest time of the year because there are so many happy memories in the past and they're not going to happen again. But if we have those happy memories in the past, we can hope to have them in the future, which again makes it hopeful. It's a hopeful time. It's a sad time. It's a joyful time. Maybe it's a combination of all of those emotions just hitting you so strongly that makes Christmas special. Maybe if it was just a joyful time, it wouldn't be so incredible because you wouldn't have the appreciation. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying the taste of broccoli affects the taste of chocolate in any way, but after having eaten broccoli, maybe we can, it doesn't affect the taste of chocolate, but we can savor it more after we've eaten broccoli. We can savor the sweetness after the, well, I don't even know what flavor broccoli is, but Maybe it's just the mix that makes Christmas special. The mix of emotions causes Christmas to be happy, even with the sad emotions thrown in there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. I just realized that I didn't say Merry Christmas, so Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, except Hanukkah's already passed, but Happy Hanukkah last late Hanukkah? Um, happy Kwanzaa, happy holidays everyone. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas.